And good morning, everybody. Welcome to K Raj in the morning. Glad you're joining me again. It is a brand new week here in the Ozarks. And we're glad to have you with you. And we're glad to have uh, Planet 417 joining uh, the family as well. So a uh, new distribution channel is available out there. So if you're joining us today on Planet 417, welcome. Glad to have you here. Um, we're going to look first, as we always do, at the verse of the day. It is from Matthew 22, 37 through 39. And um, uh, this is from the New International Reader's Version. And it says... Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul. Love him with all your mind. That's from Deuteronomy 6, 5. Good morning, Diane. And then Jesus goes on to say, This is the first and most important commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. That's from Leviticus 19, 18. So Jesus is replying to uh, some folks that asked him, uh, what the most important commandment is. And he said the most important commandment is to love uh, God. That's the most important thing. And uh, actually, uh, either in going on in these verses or in another rendering of this scene or a different scene, Jesus talks about how all of the commandments are actually summed up in these two, love God and love other people. And that's just really what we need to hear today. Um, the, the problem with the interpretation or the application really of these verses today is people that have a misunderstanding of what love means. Sometimes uh, love is tough love. Uh, you have to tell people the truth and that means uh, sin is sin and you have to tell people the truth about um, what the Bible says is sin. Now I'm not uh, obviously advocating going out and looking for people and, and um, at random and confronting their sins like uh, some of those street preachers do. I'm not sure uh, well, I'm pretty confident that doesn't do a whole lot of good at all. Um, however, I think that uh, you know maintaining relationships with people uh, to where you can speak truth lovingly into their lives is vastly important, um, and that helps us love each other well. Helping people uh, persist uh, lying to them about what sin is just so that they can feel better and you can feel better um, is not loving. That's actually quite cowardly. Um, and does not demonstrate love at all. Love your neighbor, love them well. Uh, always look out for what is in their best interests, and uh, everything else tends to flow. But remember, God's first. Country star Brad Paisley did something interesting. Of course, with all the uh, concerts shut down, he did a drive-in um, concert series. Uh, he performed first at Live Nation's first drive-in concert series in St. Louis Friday night, and the uh, uh, Post-Dispatch tells us that a uh, live show uh, he did since March came off as especially earnest and thankful for the fans that ventured out to see him, um, and the applause was really didn't seem appropriate, so there was lots of horn honking was a big deal, and there was actually a shot, if you Google it, of all of the well, mostly pickup trucks parked, socially distant with a couple of uh, parking spaces in between each uh, spot there. Let's uh, let's see what I can do about going to some weather uh, today. Yeah, let's look at our radar. You can see there's a little storm off there in Oklahoma, but today it's sunny with a high near 88 southwest wind, but 3 to 8 miles an hour. Tonight, mostly clear with a low around 69. Southeast winds, 7 to 9 miles an hour. And then tomorrow, isolated showers and thunderstorms before 10 a.m., mostly sunny and hot with a high near 92. Heat index values are as high as 96. South wind, 9 to 14 miles an hour with gusts as high as 23. Chance of precipitation is at 20. So today's going to be beautiful day. Uh, be sure to get out and enjoy it. Eat lunch out. If you have to work all day, that's fine. Take your lunch break outside. Enjoy it, even though it's going to be um, a little bit warm. Uh, only 88, which, you know, for this time of year isn't too bad. Uh, but then tomorrow we may get some thunderstorms as that stuff rolls in, it looks like, from uh, across uh, across the uh, western area here. Um, big doings tonight. Uh, Springfield will be voting on a mask ordinance. <laughs> and I expect that's going to be quite the show. Let me see if I can't uh, tell you where you can turn for some entertainment there. If you want to watch what's going on tonight in Springfield, you can go to... 
cityview.springfieldmo.gov. Right there it is. That is the live stream link for Springfield City Government. If you want to watch the show tonight at, as they vote on the mask ordinance, cityview.springfieldmo.gov. We might post that in the comments a little bit later. Uh, interesting thing to note, J.K. Rowling, uh, author of the Harry Potter books, is the first author in the world ever to become a billionaire. A billionaire. So if you want to... Uh, if you want to make a billion dollars as an author, you just need to write a wildly popular children's series. That's it. Just do it. Wednesday coming up uh, this week, it's tax day. If you haven't got your taxes done, it's time to get, in, get them in. Um, I'm looking at my accountants. Need my taxes done. Um, and also baseball, live baseball on K Raj. Uh, Rogerville Wildcats taking on the Willard Tigers. That'll be. I think those uh, run around 5 p.m. So if you want to watch some live baseball, you can do that right here on K-Raj, Wednesday at 5 p.m. And then, as always, all of our shows live or pre-recorded are uh, on the Facebook page and stick around. Last thing I want to mention, um, we need a gun range. So we're working on... Um, we got a little group on Facebook, Wildcat Gun Club. Uh, if you are interested in uh, getting a gun range put in here in the local Logan Rogersville area, uh, you know, the closest ones, we've got Sounds of Freedom, which is a great, great spot, Ozark Shooters, Springfield Rod and Gun. But, you know, you're driving a good half an hour easy to get to a range uh, from the Logan Rogersville area or Fordland. We, we love our Fordland neighbors as well. So um, we don't have any details. We don't know what we're doing. But... Uh, you know, raise a little money and uh, see if we can't get this thing going, find us a little land and build us a little gun club. We ought to be able to pull that off. We're a good town. Be Rogersville strong and uh, raise some money for a gun club. So we have somewhere to go shoot. So if you'd like to do that, please join our group on Facebook. It's Wildcat Gun Club. It is a private group. You do have to join it to see what's going on in there. But uh, we don't, we're not real restrictive about that. As long as you uh, support the cause, we'd be glad to have you. Thanks for joining me today. Um, glad that everybody jumped on the broadcast. Look forward to seeing you soon. We'll be back tomorrow with K Raj in the morning. That's with Chris Ballard, Lauren Brook, and Tom Baker and myself. Always a fun time, and I'm sure we'll be talking about that Springfield mask ordinance, whatever the outcome is. So tune in tomorrow if you uh, want to hear all the hot takes uh, that we'll have for you tomorrow. Thanks for joining us, everybody. We'll see you soon.